today we see which enemies giant Mario can defeat in Super Mario 3D World. So let's just grab a nice mushroom here to make us big. We've got a Galoomba and a Goomba coming towards us. Right when they walk into us, they are defeated. We've got some block steppers over here. If we walk into one, they're defeated. And these guys are all going wild, running in circles. And when they walk towards you, they're defeated, of course. We've got a Koopa Shell, which is destroyed right away. Golden Koopa Shell also destroyed right away when you go into it. Nice big Goomba stack here. And we get a green star. Oh, no! But we didn't defeat them all. Okay, let's get another mushroom then. And, yeah, these guys, look at that. The bottom Goomba over there didn't get defeated until we walked into it. Okay, then we've got a large Galoomba over here. You could walk into that, take it out in a single hit. A Koopa Shell. Uh, a Koopa, even with the Koopa Shell on, is defeated right away. Got a Charging Chuck here. Even though he's got his helmet on, he's defeated right away. And look at this. If you go into a clear pipe, you just shrink down like that right away. So let's grab this over here. Now, this is a really interesting one because normally... Whoa, whoa. Okay, I thought that fireball would hit me. Normally, the way that you defeat a Boo is either with a Spotlight or with a Superstar. But you can actually defeat it by just walking into it like this. And we also defeated the Piranha Plant. There's a Piranha Plant over there that's inside a pot. We defeated that. So look at this over here. If you walk into the Bullet Bills, then you get some points for that. But the Exploding Soccer Balls, they just explode if Mario walks into them and you don't get any points. And we can't break these by ground pounding on them. All right, so let's grab another one of these and let's just make our way up here. We've got a big piranha plant. Do we defeat it in a single hit or no? Let's see. I'm not even sure. Let's see. Oh my goodness. And same thing with the big boo. You just walk into it and it is defeated right away. You might remember these purple guys over here from, I think it's Pipeline Lagoon. Yeah, they're defeated if you walk into them. Same with the uh, ball bombs over here. Oh, and we're shrunk it out. Okay, but no, we lost the giant mushroom over here. I wanted that one. All right, let's get this mushroom though. Okay, so the ball bombs, you can defeat by walking into them. The bonsai bill here that's being shot out at you, you can also defeat that by just walking into it. These purple guys that are floating up here, you can defeat them by walking into them like that. Now the thwomp, you don't defeat him by walking into him like that, but what you can do is if we go up here, okay, and we're defeating some enemies, if you ground pound on it, that actually defeats it. And that's so funny that you can ground pound on the thwomp to defeat him. Oh, oh, and that actually, uh, that ground pound, that made that mushroom from up here spawn. So let's defeat some more of these enemies. We got some cheap cheeps and some mad poles in here. So let's just defeat them. I added some water in here. Now, some of these spiky things, we could destroy this spiky bar with Giant Mario, but not these. And it's kind of funny. Oh, I guess we can destroy that one with a ground pound. I didn't know that. But yeah, these spikes over here, they don't hurt me. Okay, so let's go into the warp box. This level is a bit different. I did add all kinds of enemies over here. So now Mario is going to the next section over here. We've got fire and boomerangs and hammers coming towards us. And if we walk down, that's because there are these three bros here. Just walking into them defeats them all. And this bully, he gets pushed back so far when either he walks into you or you walk into him. And also walk into trees and break them. Destroy blocks like that. And if we keep heading down, what's next? Oh, these guys, these fizzlets. And even when they're zappy like that, wait a minute. Oh, I think you can defeat them. Okay, wait a minute. No, we are small. All right, so let's do this again. We know that there's a coin coffer right over here. And look at this. When you jump on him, it only does a bit of damage like that. But when you ground pound him, it fully takes him out like this. Okay, and these guys, I don't know if you could defeat them while they're in their zappy form. Over here, fuzzies, you could just walk into them like that and they're defeated, which is very nice. Mini Goombas, we can, of course, defeat by walking into them. Just like this, we've got a Magic Koopa right over here. Now, these guys, these Blurkers, they're interesting because normally you go like this and then they come back after a moment, but you just walk into them to defeat them. Parabitty Buds, we can also defeat them. Peepas, another ghost defeated by walking into them. Octumbas, also defeat them by just walking into them. And there's something very interesting coming up over here. I want to show you guys this. Hold on. Okay, there's a Spiny defeated. Okay, now let's go like this. Let's get this one. Okay, we can defeat the Spike, of course. We can defeat these, uh, what are these called? Snow Pokies? But yeah, let's go like this. Look at this. Look at this, it's so funny that as you're walking into it, or you're just standing here, look, the snowballs, they just keep going over there. It's like we you take out a few snowballs at a time like this. And this is something that's really interesting. Okay, so these two pipes, there's actually something very different about them. One of these pipes is real, and one of them is fake. So you can see that the ZL prompt shows up here. That means this is a real pipe. So if you go down it, it'll actually bring you to a different location. But when you go into this pipe, you can see that that prompt doesn't show up. Like over here, the button prompt shows up. But over here, it doesn't. That's how you know that this is the fake pipe. So if you try to go down this pipe over here, then it'll just turn into booze. So look at what happens when Giant Mario goes into each of those pipes. The real pipe, this is what happens. Mario destroys it. But look at the fake pipe. Mario can just keep walking into it and nothing happens. And if you try and ground pound it, then it turns into booze. Just like what happens if you normally try and use it. And the same thing with the fake goal pole over here. But later on in this video, you'll see what happens if we go into the real goal pole. Now let's just walk through all these snowballs over here. Very nice. 
take another mushroom and become big again like this. A brolder, look, this is actually kind of surprising. If you walk into it, you don't actually damage it or destroy it, but if you jump up on it, then you turn it into ball mode. This guy, even just ground pounding nearby, you could defeat him, which is kind of surprising. Splorches just get destroyed immediately when you go into them. Now let's use the next power-up, because we don't want these guys to run off of the level. Let's go like this. Okay, so we've got some, uh, got some ant troopers over here. Oh, and a conk door, and one of these flopter guys over here. So the little ants, we can defeat them, but look at this big ant over here. We can't defeat that big ant. Wait, what if we do this? Oh no, he went into the death area, I went in after him! Okay, so let me show you guys this. If you go onto this, this Grum Blump block or whatever it's called, you can't destroy it, but you can walk on it just fine. Yeah, and if we go over here, let's go over here, we can see that we can defeat the little ants, but not the big ant over here. Whether we ground pound it, what if we ground pound here? Yeah, you just can't defeat that big ant. Oh, and I want to show you guys this. Look at this. If you stand here, then the Charvarg can actually defeat Big Mario. And listen to the sound he makes. Oh. So, we of course do want to go past here without getting caught by the Charvarg. And if you have these guys go into you, some of them, they do turn into trampolines like this and some of them don't. But look at this. I thought that this is funny. Look at the way that this guy moves around. I put him in this level over here, in this custom level that I just made. And I really like the way that he moves around like that. I thought that was- Oh no! I destroyed that pipe! I need this pipe actually! Okay, so now we can safely go down this pipe over here. And that brings us to the checkpoint flag over here. And... We can start to do some more tests with Big Mario. So when you defeat the Skate Goomba, gone right away, leaves behind the Skate. You can defeat this guy that moves across this track over here. We've got a little rabbit over here, and it might be a bit difficult to catch with Big Mario since we are slower when you're so big, but we can do it. We've got these little Goombas over here. Look at how they're sleeping, and then when they, they wake up when you get close like this. But yeah, they can of course be defeated by just walking into them like that. Then we've got one of these sleeping guys right over here. One of these piranhas from Piranha Creeper Creek. And if you just walk into it, it just keeps getting pushed back like that. And we can also defeat it over here. Then we've got a Cat Goomba, which can be defeated. And Meowser, who's blowing fire at us. But if we walk into him, if we ground pound on him, we just can't hurt him. This is actually one enemy that can't be defeated by Giant Mario like this. We've got a... Oh boy! Oh boy! Yeah, back here we've got a Typhu, and you can actually just walk into the Typhu to defeat it like this. And then we can make our way across over here, destroying those blocks, going into a clear pipe. That shrinks us down. We've got a few more enemies over here. This guy over here is called a Walleye. This guy's that this guy that's moving back and forth like this. These guys, it's funny, you can actually defeat them as just little Mario walking into them. You don't even have to be big Mario. You see those guys on the uh in the Plessy levels. And these guys, let's see. Yep, just walk into them, defeat them. What about these? These things, it's uh, maybe kind of surprising that you can't defeat them. But yeah, you can actually stand on top of them like that. These guys and the spike runners, you can defeat both of them like that. And look at this, when you try and go into the goal pole, a lot of people were asking me what happens if you do this, because in some other Mario games, sometimes Mario ends up destroying the goal pole if you're Giant Mario, but in this game, you just can't interact with it until you shrink back down to normal size. Giant Mario can't finish a level like this. I really recommend you watch my video where I bust 100 myths in these Super Mario games. There are so many fun facts like what we saw in this video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have an amazing day. Ahead of you and take care, everybody.